Hey, what's up, everybody? This is going to be a country swing game in Yuri's Revenge. It's going to be one of the classic Riddle 2 maps. This this game, I mean, this map is played in Riddle 2 a lot, too. We're going to scout the map with dogs, and then after we scout the map with dogs, we're going to make, make money, then make an army, and then crush him. We're going to crush him. So, this... Doc is a real smart scout. It's not as smart as a rat rattle, but it's a it's an attack dog. Construction okay, so unit ready. Four miner here. So we're going three miners right now. We're trying to get more miners. And you see how the GI seem like the firepower is a little bit higher than. Versus dogs, that means the Zuri's Revenge is not regular, too. So. I don't know why he puts his walls up, but I'm, I'm guessing it's for his battle lab. It makes no sense to have random wall right there. Unless it's for a battle lab or something, or an airport, maybe. Yeah, this might be for the airport. Okay, so. Now I'm up to five miners. Building. If you have five miners, eventually you can make three war factories. Unit ready. Off of five for a little while. Ready, Building. But you can't if you go on five miners with three war factories, you can't make much other stuff than just pure tanks because you're gonna hit Unit zero. Ready. Zero money. Look, there's a target for me. It got an IV, not bad. The killing the IV is not a super big deal because of the fact that a terror drone is five hundred dollars, IV six hundred dollars. It's only gonna hurt him a little, little bit, but it's actually gonna slow down his IV buildup, his defensive buildup, trying to make IVs to make a defensive, um, defensive group of units. If you hit the power plant, it'll make him go low power. I know why he's monkeying around with walls. Freaking retard. Unit, no, I'm just joking, he's not a retard. <laughs> so he's monkeying around with these walls. So, no, for a battle lad, that's smart. That's smart. Ooh, he forgot to put that GI in the building. Putting a um, battle lab in the walls is real smart because I'm not being sarcastic, I'm being serious because of the fact that it makes me hard to kill. He could put it in the corner of the map, which is also good, but walls are even better. And he could just put GIs around. Because if the Soviet kills the battle lab, that's one of the most biggest buildings you could kill. You could kill. As MCV, if you kill the MCV early, if you rush, force killing the MCV, you're going to lose a lot of units and lose the game, maybe. I mean, go, don't go for the MCV unless it's a clear clear shot. Wait, I might actually get it right there. He's actually let me get it. Oh, I got the MCV. What the heck? Okay, I'm going to take it if he lets me get it. I didn't really have to lose too many units. I didn't really lose too many units to get it. He's chasing me with his IVs. Now I'm like, I might be able to take out this battle forces right here. It's like freaking run him down. Bam, 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 bam. So it looks like it's going to be an easy win from here. You can tell this guy doesn't know what he's doing. He's going to lose. <laughs> yeah, I, I keep you surprised. I'm not gonna tell you guys what happened. So it looks like I could like I have enough random tanks to kill these things. Since MCV is down, got planes. It's got planes and I'm like okay, I'm gonna kill, kill this power plants. It's got three power plants. So I'm like so it's looking good for me. Oh, power drops right there. Uh oh, trouble. And, Pesky GIs are gonna do nothing but slow me down from my inevitable win. Actually, this ally might be harder than you think. I'm like, I'm trying, I'm trying to trick you guys to thinking something else. So yeah, it looks like I got the game won, but I don't. You know, I gotta finish the guy off. You gotta finish the game off to win the game. So let's see if if we could do it here. So he's making some air, so a powerful. Air defense flak cannon will be a good idea. So here comes four planes. Full planes are about to shoot. Maybe barracks, maybe battle lab. Don't have battle lab, so I don't gotta worry about a battle lab getting shot. 
Okay. Unit ready. See, can I hold this battle lab up though? I still place it right out. He shot the barracks, which means. Unit ready. Construction complete. Place it right over the battle lab means that he's got to reload his missiles and his harriers before he can come back and shoot me. Now run over this GIs. I just heard a spy being spied at then. You hear that, that noise? A spy putting his disguise on. I'm gonna get the iron curtain activated. Okay, so here's the situation here. Um, like sometimes like I screw up when, when this happens to me, but if you get ahead, you got the MCV down to the one war factory, um, and you think, you know, you got your head, you got to finish the game off, but finishing the game up is easier said than done because of the fact that he's going to throw more air, more planes at you more than usual. Power savages, I don't know why you go for the war factory. So you gotta finish them off, like I already said, and and I'm having a little bit of difficulty building a really large army. Um, I got two war factories. I don't think two war factories is enough. So if you wish the allies, got the MCV down. You're gonna see more air than usual, probably rocketeers. I I don't see any yet, but you gotta expect it because of the fact that he can only have one war factory. He can't get a corner strip. Can't get a uh, with the control device. Building. You gotta expect like him to go more aggressive because if the game goes on, I'm gonna get my extra war factors up. And look, oh, he's being actually freaking actually being quite difficult. Now, if he gets my MCV down, then I'm not gonna be that much ahead of him. Can I save the damn thing? Crap, just GIs. See what happens when you get overconfident? You got all confident, like, I got this MCV, he's not gonna build, he's gonna have one war factory, slow build. Oh, and you got a Navy SEAL in there. The son of a gun. See, he uses gay tactics, that's the only reason why he got me. Using gay tactics. You see how he's aggressive with the GIs, going with the, uh, aggressive with the GIs, attacking right away, not giving me time. Engineer, he engineered rush. Wait, is that my engine? So I got war, three war factories. That's my engineer thing. And I don't know what to do. I'm like, he's came with one battle fortress, GIs, and a bunch of mirage tanks. I had, I thought because the fact that I have super weapons, I should have waited until I got three in there. That's not good. But I do, I could use my iron curtain in defense now. You know what he's gonna do is run away, chase him away. You know, they're the same speed as Rhino Tank's about. So, he's gonna run away and come right back, so. I'm like, ooh, look at all these miners I can shoot them. If he kills those barracks, I can't make any more infantry the whole game. So what I should have done is I put up a, should have maybe put up a battle bunker near my MCV, maybe. Because of the fact that those GIs really made me the GIs really made me um difficult for me to defend. So what the he has going on over here? What the he ha is going on? He's coming at me with a ton, a ton of freaking barrage tanks and one battle fortress. And that, and and by the way, um, just because I'm not the one doing it, I mean this is a, you should really copy this guy's strategy, like the way he's doing it. Because he's actually playing really well right now, the way he's using all his air, his air, his planes, his mirage, GIs, you know, he knows how to initiate attack or put the GIs in front. Now I gotta use my iron curtain assault defense, but it can only get me so... I really gotta kill a battle fortress or something. Might need some flag trucks. I got one flag cannon. Now, here, okay, see the racket too, like I said that he would probably do. He probably has a real lot of money. Because of the fact that he's not building as fast as possible. But here's the thing with Iraq versus or is it Soviet versus Allies. I mean, it's always a good idea to damage him. If, if this Allies is damaged, but I only kill this MCV. Um, killing MCV only stops him from building. It doesn't really damage his production. Doesn't slow down his production time. It doesn't. It doesn't do a lot of things. It just stops him from making more war factories and super weapons. But it does not 
you know, it's not the same as killing miners or power plants, which really slows them down. It, I mean, it slows down what he's going to do in the future, but doesn't slow down what he's doing now by killing the MCV is what I'm trying to say. So what, so this solution is do something right now, attack right away. Now I want to see if I could get an iron curtain on zero, but four minor tanks could probably run away. I gotta, if I could kill, okay, got it on four, a little bit better iron curtain than last time. Notice how he has a battle lab walled off. Nothing for me to shoot. What am I supposed to shoot? The war factory has a little bit too much. Um, the war factory has a little bit too much health, and basically he has units running it to protect it. The airport, you know, it's near a pillbox near other units. I just don't quite have enough units. Actually, I'm not in super bad shape. Like I got a ton of money. All I gotta really do is keep the game going on, and eventually get the war factory. Eventually. But these planes are freaking. These planes are actually, honest to God, these planes are making the game really, really, really hard. Because they're shooting my barracks, they're shooting my power plants. I mean, they're shooting any tanks that go near him. And I think I just abandoned his tanks right there. I don't even know. I might have abandoned them. And he's got the, the, the um... He's got it walled off. Not walled off, but I mean, he's got the middle of the map blocked off. And I left a couple of tanks for dead because he had planes and he had me. So he's got GIs all over the place. So he's got the whole map. He's controlling the map. The only place for me to attack without running through a barricade is the top. But the top's going to actually make it harder. So it's better to run through, right through the middle with Iron Curtain. I'm going to try to gather more in the Iron Curtain. Then I got a Desolator in there. So yeah, blow, blow through the GI barricades. And son of a bitch, he just ran away. So he's running away now. Um, do I, do I got a desolator in there? Okay, I would, I'd, I'd pull out if I would. Oh, I don't remember exactly what they did in this game. So I gotta pull out. This game is from. It's not a recent game. I would wait for my next iron curtain because. Oh, he's now he's trying to make prism. I mean, yeah, prism tanks. Okay. Heard him. I mean, it got one. I think I only got one. Better than nothing, but it's not a big hit. So really, I'm running away. I think I should try to take the middle. Okay, this is getting actually kind of complicated because as soon as the smarts come, you really can't fight the marsh tanks unless you got help. They're too damn strong. I gotta use the miners to try to help me. I don't got my iron curtain for a little while. I don't know if I could even have time to wait for my iron curtain. He's got Navy SEALs in. Navy SEALs. And doing that Desolator defense, not really gonna cut it. So usually Desol bombing, Desolator bombing with a flag truck doesn't work unless you have them under pressure where they can't really react or move the proper way that they're supposed to move. But Desol bombing on defense doesn't work as well as Desol bombing on offense. I mean, you could camp, but I mean, you can't camp and the way this map's going. And this Mirage tank's too strong. And look, the Battle Fortress are hitting me from... Just the edge are hitting me with Battle Fortress. And Iron Curtain? You gotta run again. See, that's how you play allies. You gotta run away. I, I say, when I'm playing allies, I tell you the same thing. Run away, run away, run away. Even if... You think you got more units than him, still run away from the Iron Curtain. I don't care if you think you, you, got, you got him either way. Because of the fact that the Iron Curtain's gonna wear and tear on you. So, basically, you know, if I had a nuclear missile, I, I, I would be, be doing better than right now. Um, I'm actually going to quit the game because I can't do. I only got like like seven, eight tanks, super weapon, but he's got way more stuff than me. So I'm just going to resign from this game and couldn't finish him off. By the t by the time he attacks me next, um.